Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, are concepts you might be familiar with in the classroom, but they are also found in everyday life. Even in the game of hockey, STEM is being used to improve the game both on and off the ice. My name is Brandon Radeke. I'm Director of Ice Operations for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I oversee the operations up at the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex, as well as the PPG Paints Arena. In the NHL, we're using technology to help the quality of the ice surface advance to the highest standard. An item called Eye on the Ice, which we have sensors embedded in the ice. Uh, one sensor is down on the slab of the concrete, and then we build ice up and get it to a half inch, and we'll put another sensor right on top of that um, at about a half inch to three quarters of an inch on the ice surface. Um, we have eight of those around the surface of the whole slab, which gives us an exact measurement of the ice temperature at those two levels. We'll start a slab temp off at about 18 and a half to 19 degrees, which gives us a surface temp on the top of that inch and a quarter of ice around 23 to 23 and a half degrees. That's the ideal temperature. But to achieve that, we also have to have the proper building conditions, such as our building temp in the building has to be around 58 to 59 degrees at the start of the game. League mandate is you can't go over 64 degrees in the building by the end of the third period. And the other part we pay attention to a lot is the humidity in the building. Our humidity has to be between 40 and 44 percent to get the proper glide on the skates and everything so the surface is perfect. Hi, my name is Dana Heinze. I'm the head equipment manager with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I involve math in my job uh, every day whenever we sharpen skates. Everyone thinks that the entire blade is on the ice at one time and that's not true. The actual balance point is at the center and what we do by balancing it is spread it out or make it smaller. We look for three points on the skate blade, the front, the back, and the profile center. Balancing is the process of selecting how much of a skate blade is in contact with the ice. Imagine you have a hula hoop with a 10 foot radius. You put it on its edge. The portion of the hula hoop that touches the ground is just like the portion of a skate blade that touches the ice. The radius size can vary based upon the skater's preference. We measure out that on the blade and then from there we calculate what we want to do as far as balance the player, pitch him forward, pitch him back, have him neutral. We do the math on that and then we go ahead and balance it on the machine. But it's not just on the ice where you'll find STEM being used to strengthen athletes and improve their performance once the puck drops. I'm Andy O'Brien, I'm the Director of Sports Science and Performance here with the Penguins and uh, I oversee uh, matters related to strength and conditioning, uh, nutrition, any kind of uh, data collection or information, basically all of the training for the guys. Athletes love looking at numbers, they love seeing how they're doing compared to themselves, compared to other people. And so it's normal to see an athlete, you know, want to look at their statistics or want to look at um, some fine details that measure their progress. And I think it's a really organic process that if they're measuring their strength or they're measuring their energy levels, that they want to, you know, look at that over time. They want to compare day to day. And it almost becomes a coaching tool for us because it, it creates some competition. So wireless technology and the ease of use of the collection of information has really changed the game for us. Uh, we have the ability to collect a lot of info now, uh, whereas even five years ago, Ago, that was really difficult to do. Uh, all the information we collect, the whole purpose of that is to eliminate our own bias. Uh, we have ideas of what they need to do, but we want to challenge those ideas, uh, collect some information, and reduce our bias by showing some kind of evidence uh, to support what we're doing. So if we're trying to build strength in a particular athlete, we want to have something that shows us that they're improving strength, that shows us that our methodologies are actually working. My name is Rich Hickson, I'm president of the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex and today we'll talk a little bit about the rapid shot technology that we use here uh, in the GNC Skills Center. Uh, rapid shot technology has been around for quite some time. We use it here to uh, test the the shot um, velocity, release time, and accuracy for our players also gives us the ability to go ahead and, and take a look at their equipment. We can take a look at their stick flex and also their curve and lie to see if they're using the right equipment when they're here on the ice. Flex is a unit of measure used in the production of a hockey stick representing how much the shaft of the stick will bend when force is applied to it. This bend creates a whipping motion that increases the velocity of a puck when it is shot. A lower flex number means that less force is required to bend the shaft, whereas a higher number means that the shaft will be stiffer and harder to bend. My name is Andy Socher. I'm the video coach for the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
During the game, I sit in my office. Uh, I have about four different angles that I watch the game on. So during the game, I'm sitting here on a headset with the, the coaches on the bench and in the press box. In between periods, the coaches can come into the, my office. We can look at select clips and what just happened during the period. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a stream going to an iPad on the bench. So our coaches can look at that in real time right on the bench uh, and show players if need be. The job has evolved enormously in the past 20 years or so. Uh, they used to use VHS tapes and cut the game up that way. There's a lot of uh, science and engineering that goes into it. Just the idea of getting a, a live stream of the video on the bench in real time, uh, when you think about uh, that being possible, it's really amazing considering where we came from. This is just a small example of how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are incorporated in the game of hockey. For more information, please visit futuregoals.nhl.com forward slash penguins.